study a little bit on inhibition or inhibitors we're going to see that of course you know what's a catalyst now but the opposite will be let's say the antonym will be the inhibitor which is a substance that reduces the rate of reaction so if you want to increase the rate or how many moles you are reacting per unit time well the inhibitor will do the contrary the rate is going to lower because you're going to react less moles per unit time and this is typical for enzymes as well and I actually brought you this little example so you get the idea on inhibition here's the reaction normally you will this will be your reactant let's say substrate and the enzyme is nothing more but a catalyst you have an active site in which you are going to interact your catalyst with your reactant so they get together and they form two stuff here which let's say this will be B and C essentially you are transforming A into B and C with the help of this enzyme but what if you don't want to do uh, let's say you want to actually produce A and you have these enzymes which you cannot take out and instead of producing A you are producing B and C you don't want that you want to stay with A stick with A so what you will do is if you cannot take out the enzyme let's inhibit that and what's essentially an inhibitor is this substance that will go directly they have the same shape so they will go and react and stay there so it's let's say like blocked and once it's blocked you will not be able to react your reactant which actually I think is your final product so that's cool you have your A it won't be able to react and probably you think why would I want to do that well you're going to see later processes in which you will want to find an inhibitor as fast as possible what's up guys it's me chemical engineering guy so if you like the video why not push the like button it really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.